Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 14, Hostile League, Round of 16, Group B, Game 2 between Fisheye and Art of Turtle. Game 1, going to Fisheye, where I feel like Art of Turtle was just off on build orders and getting a little bit greedy overall. Upper right-hand corner, we have Fisheye starting as the blue Protoss. Bottom right-hand corner, Art of Turtle as the green Zerg. This is going to be on Butter. Not sure if I've covered this map. If you watched ASL, you're familiar with Butter. You've got... A single egg. This has been a very, uh, really popular map mechanic recently, putting that Zerg egg absolutely everywhere on the map, particularly on ramps to create a bit of a extra map feature. But that creates a little bit more of a small choke area. It's still fairly wide. You can't just block this with a probe. Leads to a natural expansion. You do have kind of this cliffside edge where you can see mutalisks can have. So you have the flying hallucinated kakaroo around the map. Decently wide natural expansion that looks like it can be pretty sealed. But the interesting feature of this map is, is if you're expanding, Often it looks like Fisheye is setting up potentially for a forge first. Maybe we'll see gateway first. But if you're expanding for the close expansions, you're expanding towards your opponent. So this is double ramp and potentially easy to hold on the high ground. But you can see where this is towards your opponent. Low ground ramp right there. Or you can, if you have map control, you can start expanding away from your opponent. But then there's a lot of territory to cover between the two locations. But it, Which leads to interesting games. And... Basically, what it means is you need to be in a position where it favors, I think, I feel like the player who can apply pressure to their opponent. It looks like we're seeing an overpool opener from Art of Turtle. Doing a little bit of swack, trying to micro against the probe with some drones here and there. Fisheye has not yet, so upon seeing this, might even go for a Nexus first. Maybe because of the lack of saved larvae here. We'll have to see. Fish. It looks like Artichurtle is going to go ahead and meander out. Wants to plop down that hatchery as quickly as possible. Let's see if... Yeah, I think Fisheye might go Nexus and then into Forge here. Kind of a scary thing, but yeah, sorry. You can go Forge, Nexus, get away with it, and then drop a cannon, I believe, against Overpool on most maps. And I think that is the case on Butter as well. It's a decent enough rush distance. Nice disruption. Two disruptions on the hatchery at the Natural Expansion. Three disruptions and Art of Turtle. Finally gets it down on the third try, but that was a good delay on the hatchery. And it looks like Art of Turtle only going to produce two Zerglings. And Fisheye seeing that, still should probably put down a cannon. Looks like he is going to plop down a cannon. But he can go ahead and might have even been able to sneak gateway first there with the way these Zerglings are behaving. So Art of Turtle, I've noticed a lot in his early game. He doesn't. He tends not to apply a lot of pressure. Grabbing this gas... At the 247 mark, which suggests he's probably going to go for a third hatchery. It looks like he is moving this drone out. Saving a lot of those minerals. So, going to go ahead and move out to the 6 o'clock location. And plop down a third hatchery at eh, a little bit of a, a distance from his main. So, going for a very aggressive economic opener here. Fisheye getting a pretty good jump since he's got this Nexus after Forge himself. See what he plays into. It looks like he's going to go ahead and plop his assimilator down. So thus far, Art of Turtle doing kind of a standard aggressive economic thing. And I'm wondering if this time he'll be a little bit more diligent, either on going three hatch. I'm wondering if he wants to go for a three hatch hydro play. Zergling currently just hanging out on the front door. Not even a zealot being built from Fisheye, which is really going to accelerate. And he doesn't need to because it's only the single Zergling. He's already got that natural expansion. This is really going to help accelerate his build order. It looks like the probe's now filtering into gas. He's got that cybernetic score. Art of Turtle spotting all of this, and Art of Turtle now mutating Lair. <clears throat> but what this... The lack of Zealot production, it can... I guess I'm trying to think about how this plays out for the mid-game. Fish. I think what this is going to end up doing is, is while it accelerates getting tech a little bit faster, what it does do is it means the mid-game pressure that could be applied from the Zealots kind of wandering out to the extra expansions... It's not going to be there. So there's going to be a heavier reliance on a Stargate to get scouting it, or Corsair to get scouting information. And additionally, Fisheye is going to have to rely on some sort of early macro play to apply pressure to Art of Turtle. Because he's not getting it done right now with Zealots. Anyway, Zerglings going ahead and running across. Speaking of Zealots, it looks like, a, as I say that, one Zealot's ma managing to slip past. Did he get one kill on that? No, so the Zergling, I'm not sure what w happened with the Zergling. It went ahead and backed off. Another Zealot's being produced, but this is only going to be one Zealot here on location. Let's see if the Zerglings can get back to defend it. Where's the... I'm looking for the additional Zergling out. 
Looks like we do have plus one weapons being upgraded for Fisheye. I kind of like this build order overall. The probe's still alive in the midst of all this. Zerg Spire morphing behind this, and I think that Corsair is going to be out in plenty of time to get some Overlord kills. The Zealot marching to the third base just now, and the Zerglings are all out of position dealing with this Zealot here. And I'm not sure that... doesn't look like Art of Turtles reacting to it. So a little bit of delayed reactions. This is going to be delayed mining time here at the 6 o'clock location. And on top of that, going to get yeah extra drone damage. So good amount of disruption overall. Finally, the Zerglings flooding in. Looks like they do have speed, but that was a lot of... Oops, let's get rid of this so you guys can see that Zealot in the corner right there. But there's also still two exposed Overlords. First Corsair is out, and the Spire hasn't finished yet. I'll go ahead and... The Zerglings went ahead and sacrificed some of their lives to go ahead and take care of that salt in that back corner. But the Spire just now finishing. I guess that's not too terrible timing. Just now finishing. Wandering in. It's going to go ahead and check the main. A Scourge is going to be produced. Fourth Hatchery. So for all of my chatter about how I thought this Corsair was going to be able to get a lot of damage done. At least that's the way I was going. It looks like it's going to be just fine. Yeah. Anyway. Hydro's Den. Plop down. So Art of Turtle going for more of that defensive style. And oh, no, Fisha, get out of there. Okay, eating one shot immediately. Now he's built a good grouping of Zealots. Plus one weapons there. It looks like Citadel of Dune. Zealot Lake Speed following this up. Plus one weapons. No cannons being dropped in the back line. That's going to be important here. And he's a little bit, I'm wondering actually, once this Scourge wanders up, if it sees the cannon positioning. So there is the cannon positioning there, but that's not... That's still, you can see where Mutilus might have been able to attack this back line. Fortunately for him, Art of Trill's just now grabbing that second gas and isn't exactly in a position to go for a quick tech switch into a mass amount of Mutilus. Looks like he's still just going to try to push... He's going to go into that four hatch and play a little bit more defensively, try to drone up. Art of Turtle living up to his name, going for more macro base play. Looks like he does want to push back towards Hydalisks as well, as he's got that plus one spines upgrade rolling. But yeah, plus one weapons, a decent amount of Zealots now grouping up for a potential timing once the Zealot Lake Speed's there. And that with a plus one attack on the Corsair, it's a really sturdy 2-1 punch. The Zealot's already moving out, wanting to apply some pressure, potentially to force some more Zerglings to be built. Plus one weapons is going to have to finish along the way. Zealot Lake Speed also going to have to finish along the way. So moving a little bit earlier, the Zerglings getting surrounded. Looks like there's a bit of a pause. There's some lag here and there. And But the Corsairs, in sufficient numbers, where they can really take down Overlords rapidly, they need to be careful not to just get Miss Microed and completely wiped out, though. Now moving to the 5 o'clock location, there's only a handful of Hydrals here, but the Zealots are coming in piecemeal, which means they're getting cleaned up summarily, having trouble getting through the SimCity, a decent SimCity. But Overlords are still getting picked off overhead, so this is... Still economic damage that's happening to Art of Turtle overall. Not able to take out that Sunken Colony. A nice defense by Art of Turtle. Really having a really good building structure. Getting the Hydralisks in the proper position. And picking off what they can. That's going to put more pressure on these Corsairs with their plus one weapons to get damage done. Looks like they... Actually, this feels like very early Overlord speed. Which is going to help protect them overall. So one getting taken out. Which is going to put Art of Turtle in the red. But another Corsair. Two Corsairs getting picked off. And that's not the best exchange. And now Art of Turtle is in a situation where he can potentially go for a Mutalist Tech Switch. A bunch of cannons being dropped by Fisheye to try to defend this. There's an emergency Dark Templar that was produced on the front door to prevent a complete bust. And that is going to keep him alive. But there's only two Corsair here. An Overlord can move up. And Art of Turtle can just go ahead and return to this. Plus that High Templar going to get picked off. That was a big loss. And so Art of Turtle actually looking in a good position to maybe take game two. Zealot gone. This is looking dire for Fish Isle all of a sudden. This, there, So there is an Overlord to go and we'll see if it can get coverage to protect this. But now Art of Turtle starting to attack this front. I'm actually looking for a potential Mutalist Tech Switch now that that Corsair count is much, much smaller. Yeah, plus one weapons is there, but it doesn't look like Fish Eye is rebuilding it. Plus that main is somewhat exposed. High Templar in the background. Is Psystorm even finished? I'm not even sure that Psystorm's finished. We'll see momentarily as there is energy here. But it might have been one of those things that it just got missed in the midst of everything. There, okay, Psystorm is finished. Hydra's dodging in and out of it. Ooh, taking some damage, poking around that corner. All the cannons gone. 
trying to morph. It doesn't look like Fisheye has sufficient attack forces to defend this. Probe's pulling off the line. That's going to hurt his economy. All of a sudden, supplies have reversed an Art of Turtle in the lead. The Corsair is managing to sneak out to the 5 o'clock base. Still able to get some Overlord kills, but it is too little and too late. As Art of Turtle doing his namesake, turtling up, getting a strong economy, and taking game two. So we'll move on to a game three momentarily. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.